everybody! Today's tutorial is going to be like, I guess you could call it like an 80's Barbie or mermaid look. Um, I know it's a little early for Halloween, but I like to start like a couple months ahead just so I can kind of get a feel for what I'm going for. But this one I just decided to like play around with something new and some of the new, new cosmetics that I got. Um, but yeah, it's a very, like, purpley and turquoise green and blue look, um, with pink cheeks and pink lips. All you need, if you're doing the 80s Barbie, all you need is the big hair. <laughs> but, um, I hope you guys really enjoy this. I kind of had fun doing it, and... Most of the people, like, around my age will actually know what I'm talking about, because Barbie had, when I was younger, had, like, this weird, like, 80s makeup with, like, it looked like she had, like, blue eyeliner and, like, some purples and a little bit of turquoise. Maybe even once in a while she'll have some pink eyeshadow, but she always had, like, the iconic pink lips. Blush, she never had any, but I just decided to throw some blush on for the heck of it. Um, but like I said, I really hope you enjoy the video, and if you would like to see some other looks, they're on the side. And if you have any suggestions, please put some below. I'm always open for suggestions or celebrity looks. You, you can either post your comments below or go to my Facebook page, which I will have a link in the down bar, and you can post suggestions there. I always post little comments on there, and I always post my videos there too. If you're not subscribed to my YouTube, you can subscribe or like, whichever you want to call it, to my Facebook page. And follow me on Twitter, where it will have, because I have my... YouTube connected to it, and it will post the link to the video. And I always post stuff on there, and you can tweet me, and I will gladly answer any question you may have, or if you just want to stop and say hi, that's great too. Um, other than that, guys, like I said, probably for the third time, I hope you enjoy, and have a great day. Bye. <laughs> By priming my eye with the e.l.f. eyelid primer. And do it from lid to brow bone. Then after that, I'm going to be taking a sparkly, like, lavender color. This is the e.l.f. Mineral Loose Pigment Eyeshadow in Flirty. Looks like that. It's very sparkly. You don't want to take a teeny tiny bit at a time. Because with loose shadows and like pigments and whatnot, you tend to get more fallout. And I like to tap the uh, excess oh, on the jar. So that way anything that comes off the brush will go right back into the jar and I have major fallout. But that's okay. I can just take my face brush and just... wipe that off. Then after you've done that with your lid, I'm going to be taking 
this tongue color eyeshadow palette from LA Colors and this is Splash. I'm not sure if you guys can really see the colors because I have the lid on. But here's what it here's it without the lid. Bunch of blues and greens. And I am going to be taking this bluish green color. It comes out more blue when you put it on your lid though. And I am going to be taking a blending brush with that and I'm only going to tap into it a couple times and I'm going to put that right on my crease Also blend that into the purple as much as you can, and it's gonna create like this bluish color, like this purplish bluish color. Sorry, guys, I'm wiping some shadow off, and then I'm going to be taking. With the same palette, I'm going to be taking this green color right here. And also dip into that a couple times. And then I'm going to be placing this a little bit above the color we just used. Take a little more. Okay. Excuse me, my nose is itchy. And then I want to take this. Oh, I can't get it open. Oh crap. Hold on one second guys. Okay, there we go. This six color palette, and this is an eye candy. And I'm going to be taking this turquoise looking color right here. I'm going to dip into that. This is going to be our highlight color. Also gonna kind of blend that into there. If you want to, you could also use a white that maybe might have like a shimmer to it. It might have like a green shimmer to it, or a turquoise shimmer to it. That would be really pretty too if you didn't want to use the turquoise. Now I'm going to be taking a white eyeliner and I'm just going to do my outer corner right here. Just so it opens up the eyes a little bit. I'm going to blend it a little bit. Or you can use a white matte eyeshadow that you may have. to be taking I'm sorry that was by NYC I'm sorry I didn't say the brand and then I'm going to be taking a blue eyeliner by Wet n Wild I'm going to do my waterline Also my upper waterline, or tight lining, whichever you would like to call it. 
I'm going to take my lash curler and curl my lashes. I'm sorry if you can see my compact guys. Hold for five seconds. If you need to curl more than once, go ahead. And then I'm going to be taking Maybelline Falsies Volume Express as my mascara. You can also uh, line your uh, lid and do a winged line the top of your lid and do a wing. That would look really cute too. Okay, I'm going to start at the base and wiggle. If you're not comfortable wiggling the wand, you can always wiggle your head. Whichever works for you, I am wiggling my head. And plus if you line your upper line, upper lid, I'm sorry, it and the mascara brush hits where your line is, it'll help hide the mistake you made. I need a little more blue eyeliner. Seems like it came off after blinking. And now I am going to move to my cheeks. And for my cheeks, I am going to use Elf's Natural Radiant Blusher. And this is in Flushed. I don't know if you guys can see it because of the reflection of the... And I am going to take a face brush or a blush brush, whichever you may have. I'm going to dip into that. You can always do a little bit at a time so that way it doesn't get overly done and you end up looking like a porcelain doll. Now the other side. And then for my lips, I am going to use Elsa Luscious Lipstick in a Pink Lemonade, which looks like that. You just twist that and it clicks. I have a hair on my face. And that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial, and see you in the next video. Bye.